Hi everybody. Timothy Trespass, still targeted individual. Um, am I upside down? I'm not sure. Uh, I have some, some problems with the battery, charging the battery. Um, it seems as though when you run the generator, if you plug AC into it, and you also plug the 12 volt battery charging current into the battery so when the generator goes up and down fluctuating in power output the battery makes up for it because there's a DC to AC inverter in there and um, for some reason it was dropping down to 10 volts, 9 volts, 8 volts da -da -da. Bouncy, bouncy, and it should be like close to 13, 12, 13. Um, I really did a number on my face tonight. Anyway, I tap dancing on you with more gallons, microwaves. Um, it's perhaps I need a higher current generator, uh, uh, charger rather, convert AC to a high current uh, DC to charge the battery, or perhaps the battery is just, you know, I was charging it for like a month with a trickle charger to get it up to where it was, and I bought it for five dollars in a junkyard, so it's not like, uh, you know, I don't have a hygrometer to measure the content of the acid and the water and da 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 da, blah blah blah, glass mat, wow, they really did a number on that skin. Um, Selectively, selectively. Anyway, I'm interested in getting a hygrometer anyway because I left my gas clean out in tanks on the fire escape. And how do I know somebody didn't put water in them? You know? Uh, I've seen it done to me before at the storage locker, so um, I guess the thing you want to do, I bring everything in at night except for the gasoline I left out there a couple nights because you're not supposed to keep it in the kitchen with the stove. And Anyway, uh, so who knows, you know, now that I've given it a thought, uh, but a hygrometer, you can actually measure the, the specific gravity of the gasoline and know whether it's been altered, I guess. I think it's only a few dollars, this little plastic thing sort of floats in. Anyway, I'm going to check it out. Um, also, I may want to put a little more water in the battery, I don't know. But I have the feeling what you need is a higher current DC uh, or never connect the... They tell you in the manual, don't connect the AC and the DC charger at the same time. They, they don't tell you why. They, they imply that it'll blow up or something, but I think what it does is just sucks the power out of the battery. The other thing I could do, which I was thinking about but I didn't do because I didn't really have the money to waste or spend or just in case it didn't work kind of deal, is get an alternator, a car alternator, for uh, 60 bucks or something, 50 bucks, 60 bucks is what the junk man asked me, told me to order for it. Now supposedly if you spin them at a certain RPM, they put out 12 volts DC at a high current, you know, 100 amps or whatever, they're made to charge your car battery as you're driving down the road. But the question is, how fast does it have to spin? And will it put out 12 volts even if it spins slower? Is there a certain model I need to get? Um, I have a little, uh, a little like from a leaf blower, a uh, hundred and something cc, uh, little tiny uh, two-stroke. You mix the gasoline with the oil engine, and it's not very loud. It could be muffled. It could be put in a little box. And if that was spinning an alternator to charge the battery. Like I said before, even with some kind of uh, voltage drop sensor, auto start, click on, whatever. But even if you just watch it with the voltmeter, and when it goes down, you turn it on, whatever, you know. It could be quiet, it could be powerful, it could be fast, and I don't know, whatever. Um, it seems that all the stuff you need to run your life off the grid is just as fraught with trouble and expense as it is to live your life on the grid. However, I'd much rather live my life off the grid if I had solar panels, if I had a home, you know, if I had money, <laughs> if I had a life that wasn't microwave, um, it would be nice, you know, you could get enough energy from the sun to charge your batteries, 
And if you have a big enough setup, you can even sell power back to the power company. Uh, but just disconnect from them. Have your generator, your backup batteries, and uh, you know, solar batteries, power, whatever. I'm just tired anyway. I got these French fries. Cooked them. Thank goodness. Thank the Lord. You know, for things small, things like you know, food and a roof over my head. Even though pretty soon, you know, unless I can come up with the uh, a legal reason why this landlord should be compelled by a judge to give us a lease, they will get what they're praying and asking for, which is final judgment and eviction. Um, I don't know, paper doesn't seem to get it. You seem to think there's some secret, you know, motion, potion, holding it all, people that could wave their wand, and it's true, they could. They could wave their wands and say, boom, and leave us here, you know, with power, without having to pay the bill for forever. I mean, they spent $14 million fucking up my life. Gosh knows how much they spent on her. It's the least they could do, but they don't. They like to play with trauma and drama, and, you know, we're getting run over by the bulldozer of, uh, gentrification and the, the stars in the eyes, the dollar signs in the eyes of the Jewish mob, uh, excuse me, um, the Jewish businessmen uh, who were buying up the neighborhood. Um, uh, I'm sure they're very nice people. But quadrupling the rent, putting the poor out, and, you know, I don't know, I guess that's, that's the thing to do these days, right? Very sad. It's very sad when they work your life, you work your body and your mind, and they screw you so hard and they bang you around so much that you end up, you know, bouncing off the walls. But let's just pray that the walls are our own walls and not the walls of some padded place. Um, I don't know, babbling. Um, it's the stress of uh, not knowing what's going to happen next, of the tss in my head and the, the secret, whatever, hypnosis, subliminal, silent sound, spread spectrum technology, or whatever. Um, and I'm really just trying to relieve stress by speaking. Of course, when I do things like that, I just speak without real clear intention and choice of words. It's easy for people to say, you know, look at this guy. He doesn't know what he's talking about. And maybe it's better that way. Um, I'm not going to hurt anybody. I love the Lord. You know, I want to practice kindness and compassion and treat people the way that I would like to be treated. However, You live and learn, and you hope and pray. And uh, the situation is just very strange, and uh, you know it's going to reach critical mass eventually, and something will happen. Uh, those of us who survive it will be around to see it, and those of us who don't will be somewhere else. I am sorry for all the pain suffering that so many human beings are being put through. It's just wrong. And it's time for people to wake up and realize that the world is supposed to be a different place than it is. And don't just let it become something you're not going to like. Thank you for watching. God bless you all.